Hey, notice how I walked in there? Foreshadowing. Well, folks, today we're doing something quite different than I normally would. Um, oh, also, hey, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Basically, today what I'm going to do is I am going to take you through a journey. A journey of a guy who was really bored one weekend and just had a good idea. Was it even a good idea? We don't know. That's for you to decide. I watch a lot of YouTube, uh, as I'm sure you may. Considering you're watching this video, right now there's a good chance that I'm not the only person you're on YouTube for. Uh, I'm humble, you know? I watch a lot of people play the same video games that I play, and that includes Super Mario Maker 2 on Nintendo Switch. Thus, the Switch in my hand. One of the, one of my favorite YouTubers, I guess he's really a streamer, but he makes a lot of YouTube content now. His name is Simple Flips. He has a YouTube series called Walkies. This series, for those of you who don't know, well, let's put it this way. If you know what Walkies is, you know what Walkies is, you know what I mean? But if you don't know what Walkies is... The idea is to beat players online without ever using the run button. Sometimes it works, other times it sucks, but the goal is fun. So this puts him at a pretty serious disadvantage. Frankly, there's a lot of levels that he quite literally, just, he just can't beat. Uh, like, there will be gaps that he can't clear, there will be stages that he can't even enter, there will be... Uh, plenty of things that maybe he could do, but they're just, they require so much precision because of the lack of mobility that he has. And other times there are levels that he can play perfectly fine, but he's just so slow because there's no way to get any speed. The point is, it puts him at a pretty serious disadvantage. Now, if you watch Simple Flips, you probably know that recently he actually was able to reach S rank in the game, which was his whole goal, which is... Bananas, by the way. It's insane. It makes no sense whatsoever. After watching him play all these levels for so long, I thought, he's always at such a disadvantage in these levels. So why not make him a level that he actually has an incredible advantage? And that's what I set out to do. First things first, I don't have a capture card or anything like that, so all of the images that I'm gonna be showing you are just screenshots from the Switch, and I'm just gonna put them up here, like I've, you know, whatever. So, sorry, I know that's not the most ideal way to show this off, but we got some good photos here, so it should be okay. So the name of this level is Walkie's Lore, MPVS, and uh, I'm gonna take you through how I wanted to make this level, the process behind it, all that good jazz. That good jazz. That's bad jazz. This is a pretty generic verse, multiplayer versus style entry. Um, you know, the classic four pipes, the switches will hit and then everyone can go in at the same time. But the reason that this one specifically stood out to me was because there was an episode of Walkies where this exact setup with the conveyors and with the blocks that made it impossible for Simple to get in. He couldn't even begin to participate in the race because he was walk only. Oh sh Oh sh how do I get in? Uh-oh, am I even eligible to race? Oh my God, dude. How the, f oh my God, uh, fast conveyors, dude. Conveyors are a pretty common theme that are a no-no in walkies, I'll tell you that much. I don't, I don't think that there has ever been any time where it's been good. Actually, that's probably not true. I'm sure there have been time where a conveyor goes forward and he picks up speed, but backwards conveyors, no dice. We do not want to see those. Normally what would happen is the bombs that are coming out of that red pipe on the right side will drop. They hit a switch, which closes the pipe so the bombs stop coming, and you enter the level, you play the multiplayer versus level. It's a pretty generic vertical style level, um, which is pretty walkies friendly. And then you come out the other side, there's a clear condition, you collect the coin, you win. Super, super simple. There's a million levels in Mario Maker 2 that are like this. But not exactly. The level that I wanted to create, I created knowing that this exact setup Simple could not get through. So there are plenty of times where it ends up like this, where you are stuck 
in the blocks and then you cannot participate in the level. And this is a relatively common setup with the on-off switches. It's not super common, but I have seen this some other times when I've been playing. But if you get stuck in the box, then you're just screwed. You just lose and then that's it. So I figured, let's make something a little more exotic, you know? What happens if you get stuck in the blocks because you can't make it through because you're walking? What's happening here is while you're stuck in the blocks, a P-switch activates, thus allowing you to theoretically swim underneath the level. Now you're probably thinking, what? And I'll explain. So the first things first is that we had to create some way for the player to swim underneath the level. Um, and that's done with the P-switches. Now, if you'll note in the original setup, it kind of looks like there's just sort of an aesthetic to the beginning of the level. There's some of the gray blocks, there's the um, elevated semi-solid platforms, but then there's also those P-switch blocks. It kind of just looks like it's supposed to be decorative. In reality, it is the key to the entire puzzle because whenever you have a P-switch that's activated, those turn to coins, which allow you to go underneath the level, as you saw. So this one was very, very simple. This contraption, it was just, I put a fireball on a track and the track then goes down and then comes back and it hits the P-switch and then the P-switch activates. And then from there on out, uh, the level is able to be swum under. Except, actually, that's not exactly true. See, astute Mario Maker 2 players know that when you're in a level and the screen doesn't stop scrolling, that means that you are able to continue moving right. And moving right in Mario is like the first commandment. All you're trying to do is go right, because the goal is always gonna be to your right, so you always wanna go right. If you can continue going right, the screen will not stop scrolling. However, the screen will stop scrolling if there is a barrier preventing that from happening. So what I did was I created three layers of these gray blocks to make sure that the screen stops scrolling. So you get all the way to the pipe and your character will stop and the screen stops scrolling. So you're like, okay, this is just, this is just a setup to a level. This is like really normal. What actually happens is what I did was I put a bomb on a track and then on the other side, I put a fireball on a track. The bomb lights and it drops down and it times up so that now there is a gap at the bottom of the screen for you to swim under. At that point, the screen will then adjust its scroll because you're on further right. So the other thing that I put here next to these breakable blocks is an on off switch. As you saw from earlier, whenever you get trapped in those things, for you to take advantage of the P-switch hitting and to swim under, you have to be able to get out. So, you know, maybe you kept trying and trying and trying to get into this pipe and you weren't able to, so you got stuck. You have to be able to get out of those blocks. So, the bomb then hits the on-off switch, um, thus releasing the bombs that are falling from that red pipe right there. and. What then happens is it gives you, I don't know, a couple of seconds before the bombs ignite again to get yourself out of that scenario. And then you're able to drop down and swim under. And the good thing is whenever you drop down through those holes, they I put in a little effect there to show you like, hey, yeah, you did the right thing. Oh my gosh, heaven's opening up, whatever. Now I will say, the somewhat ironic part about this setup is that this setup is not actually impossible to get into if you're walk only. You're able to get into this one tile gap and then proceed with the level. However, I will say it is really annoying to do that. I had to try it a few times and if you're in a multiplayer versus level, if it's a little bit laggy because we all know that that can really be the case sometimes, there's a decent chance you're not going to get in if you're walking. So one of the other things that I tried to think of was, I don't want to reward someone for trying to grab someone and throw them and uh, to, to be messing around at the start. I don't want that person to benefit from this. Um, 
And so that's why I use the fast conveyors and I use the red pipe for the bombs because I figured if there's a timer, people are going to be uh, a little more quick to get to their pipe, right? And they're gonna wanna just get in right away. The other thing is if all four players just play the level like normal, it just functions as a normal multiplayer versus. You don't have to do this to beat the level. So it's not like it's some person, who, oh, it's the first person that can click start over. It's not like that. You would just play the level and you probably wouldn't even realize that anything is up. And if you did at that point, if you started over, there's a decent chance that you actually wouldn't finish the versus level in time before the people who were actually playing it. That wasn't really by design. It just sort of worked out that way because originally I had a little bit of a problem because the versus section was so short because I wasn't trying to make some big full-fledged multiplayer versus level. That, that wasn't the point of the level. But I needed to have something so that if people are just playing the level like normal, then it works perfectly fine. But because it was so short, I actually feared that someone who was a really skilled player could beat the versus level before the person who swam underneath the level would get to the P-Switch and collect the, um, the coin for the, for the clear condition. Speaking of clear condition, this is a great time to shout out the Simple Flips Discord channel. They were invaluable to this. I went in there and I had never really been in there before. I don't really know how to use Discord because I'm like really not good at it. Um, it's not something I've ever used before. And I went in there and I asked like a billion questions. I had these huge, po this huge post, multiple posts actually. And they were super, super kind and super helpful. So thank you to them. Thank you to you guys for uh, making this happen and helping me out so much and answering my questions. And um, I just really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much. But then there are a couple other little things. I have a little pixel art there with the face that I had. I'll be honest with you, I actually tried recording this video a couple days ago, but I had some audio problems. So I'm just re-recording it now and using the screenshots that I took from then. And so as I was uploading the level, um, I decided, you know what, I'll use the thumbnail from the multiplayer versus inside to make it a little more honest. But I'll keep the name Walkie's Lore because if you know Walkie's, you know Walkie's, man. You know, like this is gonna hit the core viewer right where we want it. So like I said, you can just go through and you can play the level, you fall through, you fall under, and I guarantee that you will win the level if you are following the footsteps of Simple Flips and walking your way, hopefully to S rank. That is why we give the level description. Congrats on S rank dad, because he made it. I don't think it can be understated how insane it is that he got to S rank without using the run button. That, that's the button that makes you go fast in a race and he was, it's crazy. It makes no sense. I will say because walkies is over now, I'm sure Simple probably won't see this level, but I actually have seen a pretty good amount of people online that do this challenge, that are walking the whole way. And I, for one, always pick them up if it's a theme that you can pick people up in. And I try and get them to the goal because I understand that that's gotta stink. You gotta walk everywhere and they need a little bit of help. So as a person, one-on-one, -on -one, when I'm playing these people, I wanna help them out. But now I'm helping in the macro way by uploading this level. So if you are a walking man online, or woman, I guess Toadette is a woman. If you are a walking person online and you are following in those footsteps, you have a pretty darn good shot of winning this level. Uh, also the tags that I put for it are puzzle solving and multiplayer versus. And here is the course ID. So if you wanna take a look at this level for yourself, if you wanna play it, if you wanna download it and screw with your friends online, uh, here's the level code. I highly encourage you to go check it out. The other thing too, um, if you are gonna check it out, please let me know if there's anything wrong with it. Um, I think I'm like 99.9% .9 sure everything works as intended in single player, but I'm not able to test anything out um, with the online parameters. I don't know if things spawn differently. I'm not sure if any of those contraptions get screwed up online. I don't think so. I, I've kind of went through and tried to troubleshoot things and look up answers to that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's not the case, but I don't know that for sure. So if you do go check out the level, 
let me know if everything's working properly. And if it's not, then let me know because then I can change it and upload it again and uh, so we can get some walkies wins in here. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this. Uh, like I said, feel free to check out the level. Let me know what you think, if it worked, if it doesn't work, also like, please let me know. And hey, if you're one of the walkers out there, I wish you luck.